Raiders and NFL fans, what is going on? So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I have some work to do. Because tonight I believe that Brad and myself are going to do some videos for you guys uh, for the fantasy football season coming up. Actually, it starts today. Um, and uh, possibly a YouTube live video of myself and Brad watching some of the Packers versus Bears game. Um, as most of you guys know, Brad is a huge Packers fan, so it should be nice getting that live reaction to whatever happens during the game. But, listen, I don't know, if you're under 18, or I'm sorry, if you're under like 10, don't listen to this because it might get a little bit, it might have a lot of profanity in it. And I would say under 10, because, like, my 11-year-old cousin the other day told me all this shit about, like, girls and sex and all that. I was like, you are fucking 11. It's getting crazy how much the kids are, you know, with the internet and stuff like that. But that's another whole story. That's another fucking subject to talk about. But, listen, I love my family. I love my wife, fiancé, wife in just under three weeks. I love my friends, who I consider my family. I love the Oakland Raiders. I also love the Pittsburgh Penguins. Georgia, I'm getting to there. But if I had to say, the teams that I love and that I've been rooting for ever since I was a kid was the Oakland Raiders and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And this whole saga of bullshit coming down with Antonio Brown and Mike Mayock is getting to be a little sad. It really is, because it's, it's, I don't know who side to be on, and I don't know if I should be upset or embarrassed, because this is just starting to turn into a fucking soap opera, and it's stupid, it's stupid. I mean, let's be honest, Mike Mayock, this is your first year ever ever being an NFL executive. Maybe you should keep the maybe loosen the clamps on everybody's nuts. All right. Number 1, you traded for this guy. You knew what you were dealing with. Number 2, this is not the NFL network, Mike. This is the NFL where you're dealing with a lot more than veteran old NFL legends like Michael Irvin Deion Sanders, LaDainian Tomlinson, I mean, it, it, Marshall Falk, Kurt Warner, all those guys, nice guys, not playing football. You know your college, yeah, you do know your college. You used to be an announcer for Notre Dame, yeah, you were an announcer for Notre Dame. But if you were so good, then I don't think you should have picked Cleveland Farrell at four. And I know people can say what they want about it, but I am still not sold on him. And I won't be until he shows me something. So, Mike Mayock, maybe you should back the fuck up and realize that Antonio Brown is bigger than you are. And the Raiders' success is more important than you getting fucking butt hurt. You should have never been on the practice field. The GMs can stand on the side of the practice field, but they don't confront players on the practice field. Do that in your office. Don't try to look like a dictator. Don't. Because the team won't play for you. And I get, Antonio Brown said he would hit you in the face and blah, blah, blah. And he had to have players, you know, hold him back and all that. Listen, you're dealing with trained killers out there. Defensive players are taught to kill. And offensive players are taught not to be killed out there or hit. Kill meaning hit. You don't understand what I'm saying. So maybe, Mike Mayock, you should back up, realize this is your first time ever being an NFL executive, ever being an executive of anything except the NFL Network. You were the executive of the college football draft. Big fucking deal. Back up, realize that Antonio Brown being on the team is more important than you getting butt hurt because he put it on Instagram, the letter and all that. And by the way, 
for you to fucking like show everything in the collective bargaining agreement. Come on, dude. Come on, man. If you're going to be a good GM, you have to be half an asshole, half a good guy. All you've shown, Mike Mayock, is that you're an asshole. And you confront players on the field. You call them out in press conferences. You come through, you give a 15-second statement about a situation that's huge for the Raiders' season. Not having Antonio Brown on the field is a big deal. He has caught more balls and more yards than every fucking receiver we have on, on their roster right now combined. So maybe you need to realize that you need to fucking grab your nuts, put them back in your pants, realize that they're there, and realize that you are the GM of the Oakland Raiders. And the whole point of a GM is to win fucking games. Not to suspend your star receiver and fine him for not showing up for fucking practice. Michael Strahan, Lawrence Taylor, they used to fucking write a check before training camp started because they weren't going to show up. Veterans don't need to show up to training camp. They know what they need to do. Antonio Brown knows what he needs to do. Okay? So, Mike, back it up a little bit. Put your nuts in your pants. We get it. You're tough. But realize, you've been in the league for three to four months. Antonio Brown's been in the league almost 10 years. I'm just saying, maybe there was another way you should have done what you did. And I understand you're pissed off that he's not there. But let me tell you something. Any veteran doesn't want to be there. Antonio Brown just has the balls not to be there. He uses his feet, his helmet. He don't want to be there. He knows what to do. He knows when the fucking season starts. He'll be there. That's all that matters is he'll be there. All right? So like I said, Mike, grab those nuts, ears, hairy white nuts, put them in your pants, back the fuck up, be a GM, and bring us fucking wins. Because that's what Al wanted, to just win, baby. No matter how crazy the inmates were, you still fucking won. Come on, Mike. We want to win. And we need Antonio Brown to win. And Antonio, don't think you ain't fucking getting part of this. Dude. I love you. I love your effort. I love the way you play. I love the intensity you have during the game. But, let's be honest, bro. Pittsburgh didn't want you. They traded you for a third and a fifth round pick. So basically, they traded you for... An Arden Key and a Hunter Renfro. I mean, that's the thing. Arden Key was a... No, I think Arden Key was a fifth round pick too. But you understand what I'm saying. You made the Steelers trade. Uh-uh. The Steelers traded you away. And they did it for basically nothing. A third and a fifth round pick looked really good in the beginning. But now that the drama started... I wouldn't have traded you for a 6th or 7th. But, we need you to win. And you need to relax. No one's hating on you, bro. And think about this. About two weeks after you were traded, Odell Beckham was traded for a 1st, a 3rd, and a player. So does that show you how much you were really worth Getting traded to the Raiders. You need to realize that Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, fucking Snapchat, all that stupid shit is not needed. You need to grow up. You need to not show this shit. Handle it in inside. Interior. Handle it inside. If you don't handle it inside, you look like a jackass like you are now. You need to grow the fuck up because you're slowly, slowly, slowly starting to get worse and worse and worse if you don't start acting the fuck right. You're probably going to get suspended for a couple games because of your antics. And honestly, bro, if you pitch a fit about that, 
you might not ever play for the Raiders. And I don't know if you give a shit, but to the fans, the people that do matter, the fans that pay your fucking salary by watching and buying your jersey, so grow the fuck up. Win some games for the fans, because the fans are what matter in the NFL. I understand. You guys have a short shelf life. You guys need to get paid. But Antonio, you're already paid. So grow the fuck up. Stay out of the fucking cryogenic freezers like Ted Williams and shit. Don't be upset you lost 50 grand. 50 grand is like $2 to me. I mean, come on, bro. Be Antonio Brown. B-A-B. Make this season special. Don't fight with executives. Don't do any of that shit. You need to grow the fuck up. You need to also take your nuts, put them in your plants, strap your cleats on, tie them up, strap the shoulder pads in, and go score some fucking touchdowns for the silver and black. Because that's all that matters. It all comes down to, and this could go to Mayock too, we don't care what you guys do. It's just entertainment to us. We want you to win. And if you do the shit you're doing now and don't win, you're going to find out how popular you're really going to be with the Raider Nation. So both, Mayock, Brown, take your nut sacks, put them in your fucking pants, grow the fuck up, and do what's the most important thing in the NFL. Win fucking games and go win a championship. You guys have dream jobs to 95% of the men out there. You are playing a game that everybody loves for more than you get. Honestly, if someone gave me $30 million to play football, I would cut my nuts off for it. I think I would. Honestly. I mean, you guys are both involved in one of the most popular games in the whole United States, I won't say the world, because I know soccer's big and all that bullshit, but you guys are lucky for what you guys do. Stop with the drama. Stop with the bullshit. Strap your shoulder pads on, Antonio Brown. Mike Mack, put your glasses on, because you got to watch the games as a GM, and go out there and win for the silver and black, because, just like Al always said, just win, baby. No matter what. Both of you guys have some soul searching to do. Grow the fuck up and go win. That's it. As always, I'm hot right now. As always, let's go Raiders.